queens, divas of a more mature age. So the unit I'm working with today is from RPG Hair. And you get a comb, a strap, a cap. An edge brush, wig tamer, and this is the unit. So this is a 360 HD lace wig and it has your typical three combs in it. She is thick and curly and we are getting ready to try a new technique called a bleach bath on her. And I'm sold on this technique. I'm telling you, if you have not tried this, get your life. This is everything. So I'm taking four scoops of my BW2 bleach powder and I'm just gonna mix it up in the container. And I'm going to add 30 volume developer. Now, I'm going to, later on, I actually end up going back in and using 40, but I did not record that and you guys haven't seen that. I did lighten the unit up a little bit and I'll show it at a later date. But what you're gonna see today is what 30 got me. So I'm gonna mix that up. I have a mask on as well as gloves and you definitely want to make sure if you're doing this inside that you put a mask on your face. This bleach is not playing, no games. And for some reason, like I talk about at the end of the video, when you mix it with water and you're dipping the hair in it, it really stirs up the bleach and it was super duper strong. Now I'm going to add my developer in there and I kind of just eyeball it or actually I guess I just put more developer in there but I just kind of eyeball it and get it like the consistency of what is that maybe it's not pudding maybe a little more thin than pudding and you don't have to be precise I'm going to make sure my water is hot our water gets extremely hot. I want to make sure there are no clumps in my bleach. Although I imagine if you're doing it like this, you really don't have to mix as long as I did. You probably could even add the powder and the developer to the water. I just fill the bottom of the sink and I'm going to pour in my bleach mixture into the water and just mix it up. And this is where the stink comes in. Get it all good and mixed up. I'm gonna rinse out the remaining bleach in the cup and pour it in the sink. I'm showing you that I have a mask on my face. Per usual, right? <laughs> nothing new there these days all right now I'm going to start dipping my unit in and I just wanted to dip her ends in first to get them good and saturated I love this technique for especially working with this much hair now if I had a unit that was a lot more thin maybe a straight unit I don't know if I would do this but when you're working with this much hair it's so hard to thoroughly cover the hair in bleach and it takes so much bleach this takes far less bleach and far less time so now I'm just going to saturate the unit And I let her sit in there for about 20 minutes and I came in and I flipped it over and then I let it stay for probably like another 10 or 15 minutes. I'm 
just let her marinate. All right, now as you can see, she has been lifted. Now I will rinse her out and I'm actually going to rinse it and then I'm going to tone it, shampoo it, silicone it, and then allow it to sit in my thermo pouch. I let it sit in the thermo pouch actually for probably about, probably an hour because I was doing other stuff, but um, I talked about the thermo pouch before and it's a heated pouch that you plug up, you put your wig in it, and you put your conditioner in there and you just go on about your business. And I wanted to make sure I did not lose one curl through the bleaching process. So the silicone mixer really brought the unit back to life. Although I, the bleach didn't seem to have damaged the hair any at all. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna go in with my purple shampoo. Um, this is a new purple shampoo that I purchased. I love it, it smells amazing. I think it's like Argon shampoo or something like that. I got it at Walgreens, it smells really nice. Now sometimes I will let the purple shampoo sit for an extended period of time, but I didn't do that today because I'm actually going in with some toner. And I just wanna make sure that I'm removing all of the bleach. I think that previously I've had a unit that I did not remove all of the bleach from and the hair was overprocessed. It started breaking off and shedding and I couldn't figure out why, but that was the reason why. So I spend too much time rinsing the wig because you wanna make sure you get all of that bleach out. All right, now I'm gonna use T27 and T18. I wish that I would have only used T18 but I did them both. I was experimenting here and she, and she came out gorgeous now. But if I could go back and do it all over again, I would only use uh, two of the T18s. I mix that with my toner. Again, I'm using 30 volume. And then I just completely saturate the hair in the toner. And I let the toner sit in the hair probably for like 30 minutes. I would say probably the two bottles of toner that I used for this was plenty. I think I had a little bit left over. Um, toner goes a long way. It kind of stretches. So I'm just completely saturating the hair in that. I'm going in with my silicone conditioner and I'm completely saturating the hair in that. Or no, actually, <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. That's not my silicone conditioner at all, that's toner. We haven't got there. Now I'm gonna use my silicone shampoo to remove the toner from the unit. And 
now we're gonna put some silicone mix in her. So I just slather this on, covering every strand of the hair. And it's amazing how when you rinse this out, you can really see the difference in a unit, especially a unit that is older and it might have some fraying or some damage to it. Um, this silicone mixes everything. Now, you know what? One thing I will tell you, I put this in my regular hair about two years ago and I ended up having to cut all my hair off because it did something to my hair. So I would never recommend putting that in your actual hair. I was gonna get all the air out of the bag and we're gonna plop it into the Therma pouch. If you don't have, or the Therm pouch, if you don't have one of these, get you one. I will link the information below. This thing saves so much time and energy. I used to put my wigs in the microwave. And you plug it up, turn it on, and let her do her thing. All right, now I like to use Mixed Chicks in my curly units, and Miss, Mixed Chicks used to cost me a fortune I've been finding it at Marshall's, no lie, for five bucks. So, and I love using it in my curly units. And sometimes I use it in my natural hair as well. So the last time I found it, I actually bought like five bottles of it. Okay, so we're gonna put her outside and let her marinate. All right, now let's go. Okay, so there she is. Oh. I think I love her. <laughs> so, I don't need to do any additional bleaching of the knots. I'm so shocked about that, that the bleach bath did it. Um, I could do a little more plucking, but I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna keep it simple. So, I'm gonna put her up in a top knot. Um, because she's 360, I'm gonna have to cut the lace from the entire perimeter of the wig but I just want to get her situated. The color, I love the color. The color is everything spring to me. I'm trying to make sure I get my ears where my ears need to go. And the elastic band was getting twisted up in there as usual. Okay, so I'm gonna part her where I wanna part her. And because I have a wig cap on, I will go in the parting area with um, concealer later on. So I make my three dots, one dot there, a dot there, and a dot there. I make those dots so that I know exactly where I need to apply my adhesive. I say it all the time, I have plenty of forehead to spare so that I do not have to apply the adhesive to my actual hair, which has allowed me to keep my actual hair. Um, I have a huge forehead, <laughs> but I'm fine with it because it works great for wigs. So I use my blow dryer on a cool setting and don't, don't forget to wipe the dots off, ladies. The dots that I put on the lace, I make sure you put those dots on the part of the lace that you're actually going to cut off of the wig. Okay, now I will lay her down onto my gas to be. I didn't want to do anything permanent here because I have some more units that I need to review. I'm trying to get caught up on those. Um, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of freeze spray. I've learned that if you don't go ham with the freeze spray, it works so much better. And I'm gonna make sure she's where she needs to be. And then I'm going to tie her up and leave her for about 10 minutes or so. And just so you know, that's freeze spray on my hair tie. And she'll be back. Okay. 
Okay, now she is laid very well. Look at her. Oh, so pretty, right? Now, let me tell you a mistake that I made. I did not put any foundation on the um, lace, and I should have done that. I think I was just so excited that um, the color came out as good as it did, and I didn't do that, but I should have done that because the lace is actually... As you can see, it's too light for me. But I do go in and do that later on. It's just so much easier to do it, in my opinion, before you put the unit on your head. Now I'm going to cut. I just like to start with my scissors, my little cuticle scissors that I only use for lace. And then I'm gonna go in with my razor, which I've been doing this lately, and it just it just makes sense to do this. If you can do it, you should. Because honestly, the wigs look so much better. But let me tell you what I don't like about using the razor. Two things. There's no room for error, and as you start to fray, you really don't have the option of coming in and clipping off some frayed pieces because you've cut off everything that you've had or that you have. So yes, it looks so much nicer, it looks so much more authentic, but it really does make the wig a little more difficult to work with later on down the line. And pretty much later on down the line, you're almost really, you have to use some type of adhesive. And I'm not speaking of got to be has got to be typically when the lace is fraying or when you've cut it that close to the hairline, it doesn't really lay it very well. So you have to use some type of actual adhesive. Not to be confused with Gorilla Glue. To get the white casting away, I just wipe that off and then I'll go around the edges with my clear Gots to Be gel just to lay the little pieces down that I may have missed. And as I stated earlier, I added some darker foundation around where you can see the laces light. And Sometimes it's not visible to the naked eye, but it is very visible in photos. It definitely flashes and stands out. All right, now I'm gonna cut around my ear tabs, which in my opinion, this is more important than cutting the actual hairline because if you don't cut around these ear tabs, your unit is not going to lay right. And it took me like two months year old ago <laughs> to learn this. I was wearing many ill-fitted wigs and it was simply because I didn't want to cut any of the hair off of the wig, but you got to do what you got to do. And you'll see, I actually come away with quite a chunk of hair. Okay. So, this, you guys, this is actually probably my favorite install. What, what do I say? I don't even know what to say. Oh, the color, the color, the color. I love the color. Now, let me tell you guys this. The bleach bath is life, okay? If you've never tried that, you have to try it. But let me tell you this, especially, I think especially when you have this much hair to, um, to bleach, to lighten, it really works very well. But let me tell you something that no one mentioned in any of the videos that I watched. I saw one girl who actually had a mask on her face. But what people didn't say was that when you mix that bleach up, 
and then you pour it in the water and you're mixing it and stirring it all about it is a smell that is just it, it's horrible and i did it downstairs in our basement kitchen i ended up having to open up the double doors because i started feeling like whoa woozy it gets really strong so if you're gonna do it if it's nice enough outside get a tub a bin or something and do it outside um that's usually where I will bleach hair anyway in the warmer months. I'll take my units outside and bleach them. You guys have actually saw me bleaching a unit before outside. That's how I get down because I don't like the smell. I don't like to be in a confined area. So be careful with that. But man, when you're bleaching this much hair, sometimes you miss a spot. You just, um, what I am going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some blonde highlights in just sprinkled throughout i think that will set this unit off i have nothing bad to say about this hair y'all and i don't think y'all will either <laughs> i'm so here for it the only thing i did you'll see in the video the one thing that i did not do was i did not apply foundation to the lace because when i initially put the lace on i thought it blended into my skin very well However, I did go back in later on and I ended up using some Urban Decay that I have that's too dark for me. And I used it to just, you know, go around the um, perimeter of the hairline to darken it up because I had that little white cast kind of and that's how I got rid of that. But, oh, look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm, I'm going to put those highlights in her and then I'll, I'll wet her. So this kind of hair, once you're parting and separating and you kind of mess with the curls a little bit and that's what happened with her. I want them all to be this juicy right here. So again, this is RPG hair and I'm so here for this unit. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching me today. Until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.